Hi, my name is Derek Hades. I'm from Villa World. Um, I'm here today to talk about erosion sediment control measures and all the items that are included within that. So number one measure is the sediment fence. Um, it's been installed right around the outside of the perimeter of the building here, or the building lot. We've made sure that the grass outside is maintained as per council requirements. Um, we've also made that it's sure that it returns back around into the driveway. Uh, that catches all the large sediment and stops that coming through. We found doing that first before your driveway comes in means that the rock guy knows exactly where to place his rocks. So that brings us to the next part of our control measures, which is the access point or the driveway point. Um, we found using 40 mil stone is the best size stone uh, over 75 mil, which guys can twist ankles and get hurt and the rest of it. So once we backfilled around the slab, we're trialling a new soil binder. So what we've done is we've used a product called Vital Bomb Mat Stonewall and we've used it at a 10% concentration. So that's one part product to nine parts water and we've used roughly about 200 litres around 200 square metres for this house lot. So for the, for the larger areas where we've had better access we've applied it with a trailer mounted spray unit and um, just sprayed it out with a, a, a spray hose and then for the small fiddly areas up the side of the lots where we've, we've got to try and avoid retaining walls and some of the concrete infrastructure, we've just simply put it out with a watering can. Uh, so one of the important measures is the temporary downpipe. Uh, we make sure that this is installed by the roof, applica uh, the roof installers uh, and ensuring that it's fixed properly from the downpipe and through to the bottom access so that way the water is going through to the street as opposed to trying to find its way out. So one of the interesting control measures that we've had to make sure we manage is uh, exposed driveways. So at the moment uh, they've just poured this one now and you can see that they're about to finish it off and then they'll do their agents on the top. Um, what we do is we make sure that we overcut the driveway leaving enough area for the water wash off which is on your downside of your driveway to be collected. Um, sometimes that'll crack the pipe and go through this. You might go through your curb adapter. So we always get this catches mid or secondary measure in place. Another control measure is protecting any stockpiles on site. The black leftover plastic from the concrete slabs works perfect for over uh, generally the sand and any spoil left out the front. We get them to come and diagonally deliver behind the sediment fences on each side of that driveway. Paint washout bin we found is a good control measure. Uh, we've got the painters washing out here on a regular basis. Uh, we have we found that uh, you can either roll them from house to house or in, in our instance on this sort of site we've got two. So as one comes to the end is ready for treatment we roll on to the next one. So I hope today showing some of these measures will help you on your site. Um, I highly recommend going to your local council's website and finding their checklist. Uh, we go through that on a weekly basis just to make sure uh, that everything is above board. Um, so check their websites and also refer to Healthy Waterways website for any further information.